Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, I will be covering what is data abstraction and then I will explain levels of abstraction for DBMS. We also call this levels of abstraction as three levels of the schema or we also call it as three tier schema architecture. And next I will explain data independency and what is physical data independency and logical data independency. Guys, I have uploaded a complete DBMS subject tutorials. I will provide a link in the description, you can watch from there. If you are watching this video for the first time, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Let's get started. At first, I will explain what is data abstraction. Data abstraction is a process of hiding unwanted or irrelevant details from the end user. The developers keep away the complex data from the user and remove the complications so that the user can comfortably access data in the database and can only access data that he want, which is done with the help of data abstraction. Guys, I will give one example so that you can clearly understand what is data abstraction. For example, let us consider college database. Normally, student will access college database and as well as faculty will access college database. Whenever student opens this college database, this database will display only student information. Like it will display student course, student marks, attendance and so on. But it will not display faculty information to student and also it will not display how data is stored in database, what is the code that programmer written in order to develop this database and also it will not display how much memory database contains. Just it will display only student information. It will not display all other information. And similarly, whenever faculty opens this college database, this database will display only faculty information like faculty attendance, faculty salary and so on. But it will not display student information to this faculty and also it will not display how data is stored in database, how much memory this database contains and what is the code that programmer written to develop this database. It will not display any other information, just it will display only faculty information. So developers who develop database will keep avoid complex data from the user. So users can comfortably access only data that he want and it can be achieved by using data abstraction. So with the help of database abstraction, developer will hide unwanted information from the user and he will display only related information. So user can easily access data without any pressure and system also works efficiently. For example, if we display unwanted data to user, then our database will consume lot of memory and system may slow down. So if we display only related information, system will work efficiently. Developers use levels of abstraction in order to hide unwanted information from the user. These levels of abstraction simplify database design. If we use levels of abstraction, then it is very easy to design database. Guys, I will explain this levels of abstraction in detail. Guys, we also call levels of abstraction as three levels of the schema or we can also call it as three type schema architecture. In exam, they may ask question in different ways. So don't get confused. Guys, we also call levels of abstraction as three levels of the schema. Why we call it as three levels of the schema? Schema is nothing but structure of database. In order to achieve data abstraction, we need to divide our database structure into three levels. So we call it as three levels of the schema. Schema is nothing but structure of database. These are three levels. First one is physical level. We also call this physical level as internal level. And second one is logical level. We also call this logical level as conceptual level. Third one is view level. We also call this view level as external level. I will explain all these levels in detail. Guys, this is simple diagram of levels of abstraction. In data abstraction, first level is physical level. The name itself says physical level. Where we need to store our database physically. Either we need to store our database in local disk D or local disk E. In which location you need to store our database. In software companies, there is one person called database administrator. The main duty of this database administrator is to manage database. Like where we need to store our data. Like we need to store our data in local disk D or local disk C in which location we need to store our data and how much memory we need to give to our database and how to arrange data, how to manage data and what are the methods that we need to define in order to access data in the database. Like user should access data by writing SQL queries or directly user should access data by using graphical user interface. Like just clicking on the button, user can access data in the database. Everything is decided by database administrator. This is physical level. It will be very complex in order to display all this information to end user. So physical level is very complex. That is why we will hide physical level from end user. This is all about physical level and next one is logical level. For example, let us consider I am college owner. Now what I will do is I will go to one software company in order to create college database. Whenever I go to software company, at first I need to meet database designers. 
and I need to explain my requirements to this database designers. Whenever I explain my requirements to this database designers, the database designers will create one data model. Data model is nothing but they will represent my database in diagrammatic format. We also call this database designers as data architect. After creating data model, this database designers will submit this data model diagram to database developers. Now these developers will start creating tables, columns and so on. This database designers and as well as database developers are involved in this logical level. Creating data model is nothing but conceptual schema. Schema is nothing but structure. We also call conceptual schema as logical schema. And creating tables, columns, so on is known as physical schema. In software companies, there are database designers or we also call them as database architects. These employees are responsible for understanding our requirements and then creating conceptual schema. That is nothing but they will create one data model. The data model contains entities, attributes and relationships. Entities are nothing but table names and attributes are nothing but column names. They will represent all this into diagrammatic format. After creating data model, this database designers will submit this data model to database developers. Now this database developers will translate our data model into physical schema. That is nothing but they will create tables, columns and so on. This is all about logical level. And next level is view level. Database will show different views for different users. For example, let us consider college database. In college database, there will be faculty and as well as student. Now database will display student information to student and faculty information to faculty. It will show only related information to the user and it will hide unwanted information. This is view level. These are three levels of data abstraction. For users, database will not show logical information and physical information. And similarly, people who are working in physical level, they need only information regarding this physical level. But they don't want logical level information or view level information. And similarly, people who are working in logical level, they don't want any physical information or view information. This is known as data abstraction. Next, I will extend features of data abstraction. First feature is multiple levels. As we know, data abstraction contains three levels. So different users will view database system at different levels. And next feature is clear separation. Database will display separate data for different users. And third feature is data independency. Changes made at one level does not affect other levels. Guys, this question is very important. I will explain in detail about this data independency. Data independency is nothing but changes made at one level does not affect other level. For example, database administrator increase the database size from 100 GB to 200 GB. Even though database administrator increase size, it will not affect logical level or view level. So changes made at one level does not affect other levels. This is meaning of data independency. One level will not depend on other level. And fourth feature is transparency. Meaning of transparency is clearness. As database will show only related information, data will be very clear. This is meaning of transparency. Next, I will explain advantages of data abstraction. First advantage is it will display only related data. And second advantage is it provides security. For example, if you consider student, database will display only student information to student. And similarly, database will display only faculty information to faculty. But it will not display faculty details to student. So data will be secure. And next one is system works efficiently. In database, we will store only related information. So it will not occupy much memory and system will be fast. These are advantages of data abstraction. Guys, by data abstraction, we can achieve data independency. Next, I will explain what is data independency. The ability to modify the schema definition of a DBMS at one level without affecting the schema definition of next higher levels is called data independency. Schema is nothing but logical structure of database. Guys, data independence is nothing but modifications done at one level will not affect other levels. For example, let us consider in physical level there will be a data administrator. What he will do is, he will increase database size from 100 GB to 200 GB. Even though if this person increase data from 100 GB to 200 GB, it will not affect remaining levels. That is, it will not change structure of database, it will not change columns and tables which are present in logical level and similarly, person can easily view data without any change. So modification done at one level will not affect other levels. This is meaning of data independency. The main goal of data independency is to make data independent of the user. Modification done by one user at particular level should not affect users in another levels. So data independence is one of the important characteristics in DBMS. As we know, in database, we will store complete data in one location in different tables and we will update huge amount of data in database daily and we need to satisfy user requirements. So that is the reason why we need this multi-layer architecture. 
in multi-layer architecture, modifications done at one level will not affect other levels. And there are two types of data independency. One is physical data independency and next one is logical data independency. First one is physical data independency. The name itself says physical data independency. That means changes made at physical level will not affect logical level and view level. For example, database administrator bought one new hard disk with new technology. Now what he will do is, he will copy complete data which is present in database to this new hard disk. So even though if we copy this data to new hard disk, it will not affect logical level or view level. That is still users can view data which is present in database and it will not change structure of database like it will not change tables, columns and so on. So it will not affect logical level or view level. And another example is change the location of the database from one drive to another drive. For example, database administrator transfer this database from local disk D to local disk E even though there is no problem. And third example is changing the database files organization. In database, there will be multiple files. Let us consider these are files. Now what database administrator will do is, he will move this file from second position to first position. So even though if we change database file organization, there is no problem. It will not affect logical level or view level. And another example is changing from one data structure to another. For example, there is one table in database. Now this database administrator will divide this table into two parts. Even though if we divide database table into two parts, there is no problem. So changing structure in physical level will not affect other levels. This is all about physical data independency. Next one is logical data independency. The name itself says logical data independency. That means changes made in logical level will not affect view level or physical level. For example, as we know in logical level database designers and as well as database programmers are involved. In college database there will be student table and as well as employee table. Now this database developer will create one more table with name admin employees. Even though if we change structure of the database, it will not affect physical level and it will not affect view level. That is still users can view each data. For example, if student is accessing data, even though if database developer insert new table in database, it will not affect. Still student can view each data. Whenever any changes made in logical level, like inserting table, inserting new column inside table, or merging two records, or breaking existing record into two parts, if we perform all these operations, it will not affect view level and logical level. There is no need of performing any modifications in physical level. Even though if we perform changes at physical level, like database administrator transfer database from one hard disk to another hard disk, even though user can access data, there is no problem. Just by writing SQL queries, user can easily access data. For example, if you perform any changes in logical level, like adding new columns or deleting new columns and so on, then it will be difficult for users to retrieve data. For example, database programmer removed this phone number column in student table. Student will write SQL query in order to check his phone number. But here programmer removed this column. So he will not get that information. So if we change structure at logical level, retrieving data is very difficult. Guess here attributes are nothing but column names.